G'day. I was just showing my young bloke how to test these relays. Occasionally you'll have to try and work out why a vehicle won't start or something won't work properly. Now, the way I do it, there may be other ways or different ways or better ways to test them, but I'll just quickly show you how I test them. Here's one with a better diagram on it. Now you can see number 30 pin over here. Over here. You got number 87 pin. That's actually a switch there if you have a look. And then over here you've got 85 and 86. And that shows there's a coil in that circuit. So basically the power is going through this circuit via a switch and that will actually pull pull that switch shut if that makes sense so you've got a coil that makes a magnetic field and applies this switch and that's basically a simple explanation of how a relay works you get a better contact going through that switch there so to test them this one's actually a four pin one You've got all sorts of varieties there. I've got a few there I'll show you in a moment. But basically the way we test them is I've got a power source there. I'm going to put plus on 86 on there. And 85 will have up there. Now if I actually turn, I've got 12 volts going through there, and I've got a little switch. If you can hear that, you can hear it clicking. Alright, so we know that the coil is working. We can also test the resistance across it, but generally speaking, it'll work. But what doesn't work is that little switch, if you remember on that symbol there. So we'll put our ohmmeter on. that up there and as you may be aware that when it's open circuit you'll get a symbol or a number one just means open circuit when there's a little bit of resistance through the circuit it'll hopefully be as close to zero as possible so this one has got a little bit of resistance there but it could also be that the battery is a little bit flat and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the positive off my multimeter on number 30 and the other one on there. And now if you have a look up here on that scale, I'll just apply that power source. And there we go. You can see that's got 1.4. Should be a lot less than that, but I think it's the multimeter, not the, the actual relay. And you can see that's working. So that tells me that this relay's okay. I'll grab our other multimeter. Use that one as a stand. Positive off the multimeter on number 30. There we go. And now if I power it up, a fair bit of resistance there. It should be as close as it can be to zero. Or no resistance. We'll try another one. I don't know what that one's off. So again, we'll put our power lead positive on 86, negative on 87, or 85, sorry, and 30, we'll put our multimeter positive, 
and negative on there. And we'll try the same thing. You can see that one's got a lot less resistance. It's got, uh, what's that, 0 0.9. So that one's a much better relay, but I don't believe there's anything wrong with that other one. Now, if you have a look, there's another common one. The most common one's probably the four pin one, and then you've got these five pin ones, and you'll be wondering how come it's got 87 and 87A on it. Now we'll hook it up the same as what we did, your power source on 86, Negative on 85, we'll put our multimeter on number, uh, the positive on 30, and we'll put the other one on 87. Now if we do, that's exactly the same as the other relay. You can see it's doing behaving the same way, we've got 0.9 of an ohm resistance. But what happens if we put it on the other one, the other circuit, we put it on number the 87A, just be careful not to touch anything, you'll notice you've already got the resistance there. So that one's already applied. And if I put the power on it, it's just going open circuit. So basically what that means is that when it's on the 87, it's operating, uh, that switch is working when I apply power to it. And on this other circuit, when I put power to it, it actually turns it off. So that's all that is. And look at that one. That one's different again. Different number of pins, different numbers on them. And look at this one. Same sort of thing. So the only thing difference is, is that sometimes they're coming on, sometimes they're coming off in that circuit. Anyway, I hope that's shown you how I test relays. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, throw me a beer if any of this information helps or any of my videos help. Thank you for watching.